All right, let's make it pretty. So we'll start with the date, or all of the fonts actually. You can just go up to here and then select all of the columns that we're using. And then go to wherever your font bar is and click whatever font you like. Now all the fonts have changed, which might make this happen. I picked a bigger font than we had, so this is no longer wide enough. Again, I don't know if this happens automatically in newer versions, but since it doesn't happen in mine, we have to go up here and then stretch it out. Oh, that's much better. Back to the date, select the cell, obviously. Back to your font selector area, and then just pick however big you want your date to be. I think I, ta-da, that means the number's way too big. Again, if yours doesn't automatically fix itself, just click and drag. Alrighty, I have my number set to financial notation, so the parentheses takes the place of the negative sign. Highlight all the cells that you want to do that to. And then you go to wherever your format options are, format cells. And then under format cells, click on number, and then you can pick whichever format you prefer. The accounting one does it automatically like this. Um, but I think I decided that the dollar signs were too much clutter. Yeah, I don't have the dollar signs on mine. So I think I went with number and then used, yeah, the red one in parentheses. And I do like the comma. So that's the one that I have. So after you pick whatever format you like, click OK. And there you go, all the ones that we highlighted are in the format that we chose. So I use the same thing for the finance charge one. Format cells, number, red negative. Good Lord, I hope I never have anything that needs a comma for a finance charge, but that's what I got. And then the minimum one, format cells, number, same thing, but these are positive numbers because that's our payments that we're making, right? So I leave all the numbers highlighted and then I go up to the font color button and then I select green. Great, I leave alone because really these boxes here are just for my info anyway. The other number cells are the ones where we have our payoff numbers. So same as usual, format, cells, number. Again, these will be black. Unless they're negative, they'll turn red. Um, so I go back to the font color button, but since I already picked green, I can just click on it. Now the positive or neutral number will show up in green. Next, this one, easy, just like we did that one. Click on your current total, go to your font size, and pick whatever size you want. Oh, and again, I will have to resize column. click the bold button. I also put the starting point, the total payoff, and the monthly payoff in bold just so they stand out a little bit. So all that's left to do is add some pictures. On this version we will go up to insert and then down to picture and I believe I used most of the clip art files for this which in this version will bring up a little clip art box over here in the search box. I'll just type debt and go and then it'll show a bunch of things for me to choose from. So I think all the ones that I have used are gone. So I'll use this one 
as an example to show you guys how to do it. So you just click on whatever you pick and it's going to show up on your worksheet and then you can just move it around to wherever you want. Say we want this one to be the one in the corner. There it is. And you can do that with all the other ones. I've heard that Microsoft has done away with their design gallery, which is where all these clip arts and things are stored. I think they, I heard they did some kind of integration with Bing because they own Bing. Um, so I don't know if the newest versions of the software will even have that option or not. I mean, hopefully they do because it's so nice and easy. But you can also just insert a picture that's on your computer that like you saved from Googling, you know. For example, if I click debt into Google, and I really like this guy, I will um, right click and save it into my documents or wherever you want and then the insert picture and then click from file that will usually bring up your my pictures folder but I think I just saved it under my documents so yep there he is double click on it and oh my gosh that's a big one look where he is down here so we'll have to scroll till we find a corner. There's one. And you are good to go. Again, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I will answer as best that I can.